Let us create an AM synth and FM synth. Okay, let's make a new patcher and we can call it FM synth and modulations.pd or something along that line. Let's begin with AM synthesis. First, create a noise oscillator, so noise tilde. Create a times tilde object, which is used to control the volume of this noise. And connect it to times tilde 0.5, which will make the overall volume of this signal chain half as loud. And of course, we need DAC tilde at the end. And patch them together. Okay, so no sound will come out because we haven't set the volume parameter with this times tilde object right here. This is where an LFO will come in. So create a number object and an oscillator. And connect like so. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? As we discussed in the modulation video, sine wave is cycling between the highest peak value and lowest peak value. So this sine tone oscillator right here is outputting numbers between and including negative 1.0 and positive 1.0 at a specific looping rate. And the speed of that can be controlled with the frequency parameter. Essentially, these values between negative 1.0 to positive 1.0 are the value of loudness level outputted by the sine tone. By the way, when you type negative number in the times tilde object, for example, negative 1, it'll be equivalent to typing positive 1. So that means as this LFO is outputting numbers between negative 1.0 to positive 1.0 and back and forth at a specific speed, the volume of the noise will go up and down at a specific speed. So let's hear it in action. Type in 0.1 in the number object. 0.1 Hz will make the LFO really slow. And turn on the audio. Do you hear the white noise going up and down in volume at a really slow speed? That's LFO in action. And if we increase the frequency value, we hear the volume go up and down at a faster rate. Okay, now we'll move on to FM synth. Let's create our carrier frequency. So make a number object and create one oscillator. Next, let's create the modulator frequency. And we should include times tilde so that we can control how much it affects the carrier frequency. And we need to combine the modulator to carrier frequency by using plus tilde. And have times tilde 0.5 just to make the overall volume quieter. And connect it to the DAC tilde. And we did it. This is FM synth in its most basic form in pure data. And please experiment with the three parameters, carrier frequency, modulator frequency, and depth, so that you can hear what each of them does in terms of how the sound is affected. The magic of sound design is that most of the time, we have no idea what's going on technically, but we like what we hear, so we stick around in this unknown territory. Even the inventor of FM synth, Dr. Chowning himself, stated that FM synth was 100% a 
on a year discovery, and he initially did not understand the math behind it. Okay, we'll be saying goodbye to pure data for a tiny bit, but we'll come back to it in a few weeks when we use sensor data to control synth made in pure data, which is our first major milestone of this channel. And of course, if you want to explore PD on your own, you're more than encouraged to do so. And if you have been following this channel for the PD tutorials and not for the instrument design videos, I will eventually come back to this series and most likely focus on how to create music in PD. So please stay tuned. I'll do my best to balance between the two. Next week, we'll start learning about Arduino and circuits. I'll see you then.